Hey everybody, Gene here with today's Home with the Movies review. On this show, we review things to watch at home on Netflix. So let's get right to it. Today we're going to look at a classic example of New York City grime and character. Al Pacino in Cruisin'. First off, this movie is not for the faint of heart. Religious types or insecure heterotypes. A movie like this would never get made today, no chance. We've become so formulaic and safe in our collective creative outlets, one must look to the past for our to see artistic risk takers. This film is set in New York City, late 70s, early 80s, before New York lost its soul and became a haven to the scene one, seen them all, uncreative, everything is daddy's fault, hipsters that now descend on the city like a plague of locusts. Mixed in, of course, with throngs of single women that have come chasing the fantasy their friends and sex in the city created, uh, looking for that dream man, you know, dentist types like Dr. Spaulding. But they do not find him. Instead, they pack into clubs wearing their hookup best, trying to impress the city's douchebaggish supremists as they spend their daddy's money on $500 bottles of Stoli and cranberry juice. Do not get me started on bottle service. Okay. Back to cruising. In cruising, the nightlife culture delved into is a whole different ball of wax. It's a journey of an undercover cop into New York's once thriving gay leather subculture. These fellas are not gays as you see them exclusively portrayed nowadays in the media. Super non-threatening family types or accessories to rich and lonely middle-aged housewives. No, this is the pre-AIDS ma- men that uh, want to have sex with other men, so there is no pretense here. That's right. It's only logical if a man doesn't have to play games for sex, he won't. Uh, let's watch a clip. Let my swing, make my come sing. Make my Let me have my fun. You see some Pacino doing amyl nitrate and dancing it up. Let me tell you, there's a story of a serial killer in here that may wind up confusing you. But watch this is sort of a macabre look into New York City that disease and homogenization is done away with and there's a lot to like here. Also a great scene with Powers Booth explaining how the color of the bandana that you wear lets people know the sex you want. Enjoy the grit, enjoy the struggles Pacino's character has trying to cope with a world unbeknownst to him. A world of constant and endless sex and debauchery. Just well, just because they could. This movie rates pure American muscle. Plymouth Roadrunner Superbird. Not for everybody. And the people that say, do we really need all that extra stuff? Like the spoiler, it's too big, blah, blah, blah. They won't ever get it anyway, so there's no use trying to make them understand. Thanks, and I'll see you next time, right here, in my home, at the movies.